Welcome folks, Simitar here, and today we will talk about the best mods for the most intriguing playstyle in Skyrim, Vampire. Vampire gameplay, as well as Werewolf 2, in vanilla game has a lot of disadvantages. First of all, it is really strong on low levels, but become almost useless in high level, as Vampire and Vampire Lord almost does not scale with your own power. Secondly, it is a poor class mechanics in overall, low amount of unique skills, as well as low amount of perks. But now it is time to change this. In this video, I will show you the most interesting mods for vampire gameplay itself and all associated aspects – armor, weapons, player homes, textures and much more. I also will cover a few mods that aim to improve vampires as your enemies, to make the game much more interesting and challenging. Just everything you need to have to greatly improve vampire part of the game. So please, take a seat and let's go! Let's start directly from gameplay improvements. Sacrosanct – Vampires of Skyrim It is a complete vampire overhaul, from author of well-known Apocalypse and Ordinator mods. It is simply brilliant in everything. It overhauls all abilities and powers for both Vampire and Vampire Lord. It adds dozens of new amazing and what is also great, lore-friendly and immersive passive and active abilities. It completely overhauls Vampire Lord perk 3, making it 3 times bigger and at least 10 times more rewarding. It also introduces complete new magic school, Hemomancy, that is looking and acting like real blood magic. And the latest version, there is even an amazing vampire questline that can give you even more terrific Night Lord advantages. And in addition, it is really lightweight and pretty good compatible with a lot of gameplay mods. When using Sacrosanct, you're starting to notice improvements everywhere. Even each race now has unique vampire ratio ability. For example, Nord can resurrect one additional corpse per battle, Argonians became resistant to sunlight negative effects for some time after swimming, and Darmor can steal a victim's vampire ratio ability on feeding on it, and so on. As creatures of the night, vampires can levitate even in human form, and that's why, as vampire, you're now able to walk on the water, if you're not running. Sacrosanct is literally making you play as vampire, and receive bonuses for this. For example, each time you feed on someone to death, you have permanent bonus to health, magicka and stamina. The bonus is one point only of each attribute per deadly drained victim, so it is balanced at the same time. To get let's say 1000 permanent bonus, you will need to drain 1000 innocent people to death, and that's pretty hard task, huh? But this small detail is greatly improving feeding process. Hemomancy is a pure blood magic. You can unlock its secrets by feeding on sleeping targets. Each new spell requires more drains, but is absolutely rewarding. You will start with some basic damage over time effects and finish with the ability to levitate and explode corpse, or to summon a blood sphere that is moving and burning your enemies with very high damage. And all the spells are also going with custom textures and sounds. Vampire mind control aspect is also became much more variety. You can command seduced person to follow you, flee or even commit a suicide. Upon learning new and new perks and progressing through your vampire level, you will obtain more and more unique spells, from obfuscate, basic chameleon spell to come closer to your enemies even during the day, till absolutely destructive Lemaire Pyre, devastating torrent of hurricane flames that burn everything in wide radius around you. One of the most immersive parts of this mod is called Blue Blood. It starts automatically when you have fed on someone first time. To go through this questline, you need to feed on the most powerful personalities in Skyrim, someone like Savas Eren, Ulfric, Mercer Frey and so on. Each time you feed on such kind of person, you will receive a permanent new ability, up to 7 abilities in total. Each ability is much stronger and unique, starting from something usual like uh, attack damage bonus till ability to feed on your enemies in combat and the final ability named Daywalker, that completely negates all non-lethal sunlight effects. Yes, yes, that means you will be able to regenerate magicka and stamina even on direct sunlight, and not receive other debuffs. And also add to this 32 new and revoked vanilla vampire lord perks and doses of miscellaneous tweaks and improvements. Summarizing all of this, Sacrosanct is a detailed, interesting and polished vampire overhaul that is not just giving you some bonus damage, but literally makes you progress in all aspects of vampire life, making you actually feel yourself becoming a dreadful lord of night with each bitten neck. Now let's check some player homes suitable for vampires. The Shrouded Lair Do you ever wanted your own castle Volkihar? 
This is it. A vampire manor as it should be. It is a secret place with eternal night, dark, creepy and ambient. If you want your player home to look like classic castle from vampire stories, this is one is definitely for you. It is big in size, with a lot of custom clutter and unique features. You can for example teleport between different castle seals using special teleport spell books, buy items and learn magic schools from ghost merchants, and also there is a teleport spell that instantly brings you to the throne room from any corner of Skyrim. Everything you need for a comfortable life, from usual things like alchemy and enchanting tables, till vampire cattles lying on the dinner tables waiting for you to feed on them. Well, that's really creepy. <laughs> Add to this even more unique cells, amazing dark atmosphere and custom sound effects and soundtrack inside the castle. If you apply as vampire, you definitely need to try it. Hasseldor, player home from vampires. It is a middle to big size abandoned manor that is waiting for noble vampire lord to live here. The building itself is fitted landscape great, looking amazing both during the day and the night. Exterior design is pretty noble and so is the manor itself. It is pretty big in size, so you can bring all your items, followers and family here. Each room is filled with different clutter that is fitting vampire houses really well. Coffins in the corners, mini gargoyle statues on the top of bookshelves and so on. In addition to having absolutely everything you may need, from beds and bookshelves till enchantment and alchemy tables, you'll be surprised by additional unique features like cute dog guard that can be turned into undead hound or secret door leading to the castle Volkihar. Raven Home, Vampire House. If you still want comfortable vampire house, but not a fan of big houses or just don't need so much free space, then Raven Home is for you. It is a small sized player home hidden in snowy mountains in Rift. It is dark, as the vampire house should be, but still really easy to navigate inside, has everything you need for comfortable rest, and also has unique design textures. In the room, you can also find Altar of Moloch Baal to pray him and receive his bloody blessing. Back to gameplay, meet DVA, Dynamic Vampire Appearance. This one dynamically changes the appearance of vampire players to visually represent the different stages of vampirism. DVA makes other visual changes such as glowing eyes in combat or when using vampire night vision, as well as blood around the mouth after feeding. Just look at this. I personally find this feeding blood feature really atmospheric, something that vanilla feeding mechanics always should have from the beginning. The visual appearance changes in also giving some immersion and real feeling that your character is starring for blood, so you can clearly see it, not just orienting on city guards comments. DVA is also easy customizable via Sky UI mod configuration menu and compatible with most popular big vampire overhauls. When it comes to vampiric immersion, I definitely should mention this tiny, but a great mod. Meet Bloodthirst, vampire NPCs can feed. It allows all vampire NPCs feed on others, the same as player does. So, for example, Serana now can try to feed on nearby people if the conditions are met. It is dark enough, she will sneak to potential victim and try to feed, but if conditions are not met, she will retreat. Vampire enemies feeding is even more awesome. Hostile vampires can now feed on their enemies just during the combat, and they can also try to feed on player too. As for me, that's looking really badass and creepy, giving more atmosphere to fights with the vampires. Disciple of Moloch Bow, Demonic Voiced Vampire Lord Vampire Sounds Audio Overhaul Mod It replaces all Vampire Lord sounds, transformation of spells, melee attacks, sun damage and much more. What can I say? Just listen this and tremble. Well, I think it's time for some badass armors and weapons that are fitting the vampire playstyle, right? Volkehar Knight Vampire Armor This armor is simply a piece of art. It is badass, rich detailed and lore friendly at the same time, made almost from only vanilla assets. Supporting both male and female characters, it will sow fear in hearts of your enemies at the first sight. 
In addition to just an amazing design, the chest comes in three variations, three colors as well as three unique enchantments. A Beast Walker Cuirass, blue one, muffles your footsteps and allow vampires to regenerate stamina, magicka and health in sunlight. Assassin Cuirass, grey one, turns you into a wisp of smoke when you sneak outside of combat, granting you invisibility. Royal Guard Cuirass, red one, gives a 15% chance to throw melee attackers into the air, draining their health by 20 points per 4 seconds. Here is a short demonstration. Raziel Vampire Armor Pretty unique looking gothic armor set with pair of bone wings, inspired by a legacy of Kayan Soul PlayStation 1 video game. It has two types of sets, light and glossy, for different playstyles. And the design itself? Well, just take a look. It is original and gives you gothic and berserk-like look at the same time. Wait man, but what about dressing for seductive vampire girls, huh? Sure, we have some. Last more Vampire Armor. If you like to play for Vampire as female character, this one is definitely the most badass female vampire outfit. This armor keeping the perfect balance between elegance, sexiness and lore friendly look. Add to this just a great overall looking and high details level, and you will receive one of the most badass female outfits at all. Vampire Lizard Armor Set. Another beautiful outfit that is looking amazing on female characters. It is much more open and defined compared to previous one and may fit really good if you are for example role-playing some kind of illusion or seduction vampire, or if you simply love to see your female character beauty all the time. Better Vampire Weapons While it is named Better Vampire Weapons, it adds not just weapons themselves, but their battles, trust me. Mod adds several new and sometimes really good hidden locations across Skyrim. Vampire dens, lairs, labs, forges and ruined fortresses. All of them will provide players with access to new materials that can be forged into new unique weapons with new enchantments that they had never seen before. Melee, ranged and magic weapons, everything you need. Bows that send swarm of bats on your enemies, burning sword, mace that have a chance to disarm Dungard and vigilant NPCs, katana which strikes can open portal to another dimension or a shield that creates a life stealing ward before you, draining enemies in close combat. If that is not an immersive vampire weapons, then I don't know what it can be. Also take a look on a brief demonstration of some of them in combat. Better Vampire NPCs Vampire enemies in Skyrim were really, well, predictable and boring. Their spells and combat mechanics usually have almost zero changes with leveling up. All of this made them just not more interesting than usual bandits, you know, but they should be. Better Vampire NPCs improves absolutely all Vampire NPCs in Skyrim, from the named and bosses to all generic enemies. Vampire now will scale properly with your level, use different spells. Different vampire types will have different combat tactics. They will no more always be in the same vampire clothing. More aggressive melee vampires can for example have leveled heavy armor set equipped as well as massive two-handed enchanted weapon. Vampires now can turn mist when they are at low health, use vicious and unpredictable blink attack, instantly appearing behind you and striking you in back. Vampire weapons can infect you with vampirism, how it was in previous test games and how it is exactly much more logical. Strongest vampires often will have weapons and armors with unique textures or with unique enchantments. And also stronger vampires usually will be more pale. Just take a look at this blood shield. All items are lootable, so you can obtain and use them too. 
mod also introduces new crafting material named Blood Gems. You can use them to smelt into blood glass ingots and then make your own blood glass weapons for them. These weapons are not enchanted by default, so you can place any enchantment you want on them. But any of that weapon can apply an additional unique effect on strike. Reduce enemy damage, core attributes, absorb life force, reduce attack or movement speed, and even has a very low chance to instantly kill your target. As a Vampire Lord, Master of Blood Magic and Lord of the Night, you deserve the best and most unique weapons too, and you will have them. I play this mod at the end of the video because I personally want to give it a special shout out. This one is one of the most Skyrim veteran mods and one of the biggest gameplay overhauls of the old times. Yes, all hail the battle vampires. This mod is so huge that to make a complete spotlight showcasing all the features could take me, well, a few hours. Instead, I will try to describe the philosophy of this amazing mod, its overall design and the latest features that were not covered in all spotlights. Better Vampires is an avatar of Skyrim modem itself. It is a never-ending adventure. During all these years, it is not just having bug fixes or little improvements, its author is keeping to add complete new features almost each month. If you really like the Vampire's gameplay concept itself, you just must install it and give it a shot. Playing with Better Vampires is much more than playing with just a good mod. It is like a playing a complete independent game inside the main game. Literally each part of Vampire gameplay now is better. You receive new starting Vampire spells and abilities, and even very basic of Vampire spells like Vampiric Drain is reworked to be more rewarding. Every little detail is counted. Have you ever seen that feeding on target from sneak mod gives you sneak experience? Well, now you can have this. And this is actually pretty logical, you know? If you are making any successful action while sneaking, you should receive sneaking experience. Vampire combat spells also give destruction experience, and so on. Vampire status messages are written in first-person style. When you are sated, you will not just be cleansed from blood hunger debuffs, but also receive fat bonuses, striking more savage and moving faster. And that's only a very basics. Better Vampires introduces amazing system of vampire ranks. Depending on how many times you have fed on people, your rank will slowly grow. Starting from the first rank, you receive some passive bonuses like slightly increased attack speed and magic damage. But when you're growing in ranks again and again and again, you will not just increase these bonuses, you will receive a complete new, like additional damage resistance and so on. It is a great way to actually feel how your vampire character is growing from an experienced bloodsucker into a powerful and wise lord of darkness. Also note that you can feed on corpses too. There are different abilities that you will obtain while progressing with vampire, just look on some of them demonstrated in combat. Great example of immersive and unique magic is Blue Dwarf spell. While you are keeping it active, instead of draining your magicka it drains your own health. But in return of this risky price, it will not just protect you from magical damage, but also working like an armor, protecting from physical attacks too. And if you will still need some help, you can always call for help summoning random undead or just creepy creatures to assist you, vampire hounds, spiders and so on. One of another great examples of immersive spells is Mortal Mask. When you are close to have such an enormous hunger that you realize people now will attack you on sight or they are already not talking to you normally, you can simply save your situation by casting a spell that removes all ugly vampire hunger effects from you as well as visual effects from sunlight, giving you a chance to reach your goal in dialogues. One of the most amazing features of better vampires is that you can turn people into your trolls into vampires, making an army of loyal citizens or, or just an army based on your taste. You are able to turn up to 30 NPCs into vampires. Just imagine how terrific this could look. The advantage of better vampires I want to mention separately, and maybe one of its best features actually, it is an absolutely enormous level of customization and compatibility. If you open the MCM menu, you can see that you can change turn off and on or adjust literally everything in this mod. Too hard for you? No problems. Too easy? No problems. Progression type? All core gameplay mechanics. Assign hotkeys to fit your taste? No problems. Assign any kind of strengths and weaknesses? Still the same. Assign dozens of miscellaneous features from biggest to smallest? Yes, you still can do this. Do you want to have boss amazing spells from better vampires and huge vampire lord perk tree expansion from Sacrosanct? 
you can use them both. Battle Vampires is amazing. Each time you will think, well, it seems I reached the limit of my vampire gameplay. Better vampires will lay a hand on your shoulder and say, hey, wait a second. As a little bonus, at the end I want to show some amazing eye and fangs detection mods for vampire faces. It is still an important part of your gameplay and you should have a lot of options to choose from. And there are actually a lot. Well, that's all people. This video was especially important for me, as vampires definitely deserve a terrific and rewarding gameplay. And so I hope you found some useful information today. If you like what you saw, support the channel by your subscribe and comments, and don't forget to enable channel notifications to not miss the new episodes. Stay in the shadows, strike deadly, and see you next time. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.